Good morning, Octane Infinity. This is your report for Fantasy Basketball Week Number Six. So let's get right to it. Matchup number one was me versus Stupid Chris, the Giant. The Giant wins six to three, even though I had ten ad drops throughout the week. Um, Eric Gordon is still not playing, but for Chris, Jared Jack and Jameer Nelson are not playing. So kind of sucks for my team. My team sucks. Piece of shit team is what mine is. Uh, second matchup of the week was Scott's the Landlord against Camp's Champs of David. David ends up winning that matchup 6-3. to three. Just Taking a look at the stats here, uh, Landlord pretty solid on field goal percentage assist and steals, but man, David has a pretty solid team. Uh, no Elton Brand for David, but uh, he ends up with the victory for this week. Moving on to the third matchup, we have Ad Drop Yo, which was a F me, I like it, and that was uh, Matt Bob. He went up against Renee's Hoop Kings, who really, really sucks, but Hoop Kings ends up winning this matchup by a final of 5-4. to four. Um, Hoop Kings, man, 56 three-pointers from Hoop Kings with 687 points total, and the t difference was turnovers. Hoop Kings 82 versus 84 for Matt Bob, and uh, Renee was pretty active on the waiver wire, getting some pretty good production from uh, Lonzo Gee, and uh, look at this, Vince Carter. Um, Matt Bob also was on the waiver wire, and he picked up uh, okay players. He picked up Michael Beasley, which uh, he exploded with his first game back, but uh, kind of quieted down. Uh, at any rate, it's a 5-4 victory for the Hoop Kings. And uh, next matchup, we have Adams Jobbers against Evans Taekwondo Kid. This is the first week that the Taekwondo Kid has a full uh, strength, healthy Kobe Bryant. And, and let's see how we did here for the Jobbers. 5-4 goes down. Jobbers wins in three point. Rebounds, steals, and blocks, whereas Taekwondo Kid was pretty strong with uh, free throw percentages and uh, with only 76 turnovers. This uh, final category, assists, was won by 13 assists by the Taekwondo Kid. Um, both were somewhat active on the uh, waiver wire. Taekwondo Kid picks up Rudy Fernandez and Chris Kamen, whereas uh, Adam took a gamble on Channing Fry. That guy's a big bust disappointment. And the Chuck Wagon, Chuck Hayes, who's now once again sick. Sick with a broken shoulder. Piece of shit. Alright. Now, next matchup. Johnny, the Lobsters, against Mike's really crappy team. Camby is awesome. Camby is awesome. Actually uh, gave John a run for his money. John wins 5-4. to four. And the difference here looks like, well, it looks like three point. Well, no, man. All these categories were uh, pretty significant for the uh, final margin. So the Lobsters wins with 49 three pointers and uh, really did good on field goal percentage, free throws, three pointers, points, and rebounds. And um, Mike went to the waiver wire a little bit, picked up the. Uh, Earl Watson and Zaza, um, but Jason Kidd and Raymond Felton were still kind of injured, and, and uh, we'll see if Mike can salvage the season because he's currently looks like uh, here in well last place with the Hoop Kings. Our uh, last matchup pits the league champion Mike Jones against the Grow Monsoons of Jonas in the Asian division. And uh, the league champion gets the 5-4 to four victory. Um, and his points and three-pointers were solid. Uh, this was one in the, in the turnovers. Grow Monsoons had 94 turnovers versus 85 for the league champion. Even though the league champion, man, add drops like crazy, at least 10. Picking up Thiago Sweater, Mullins, Bayless, Meeks. Again, stupid Channing Fry, Mayo, Bonner, Ben Gordon, McGee, and Zach Randolph, and Brandon Knight. Those last four are all injured. Mike uh, still gets the win, and 
that does it for the matchups. So here's our final standings uh, going into week number seven. Lobsters leads the Asian division, uh, number two overall record. Uh, lead champion Mike Jones, number one overall, and the white man can't jump with a 33, 19, and two record. And Camps Champs overtakes Ad Drop EO Matt for the uh, division lead for the newbies. Um, but looking at the newbies, they all have under 500 and under records. So looking at uh, this week's matchups, I go up against David. Chris goes up against Camby is awesome with Mike and uh, John and Scott score off. Matt goes up against the league champion, and according to Matt, he's going to add drop like crazy, at least three streaming players every single night. Adam is going up against uh, Jonas, and finally, the Taekwondo kid goes up against Hoop Kings and Renee. So this is your uh, fantasy report. Looks like this is going to be a pretty fun week. Uh, already, there's been a lot of add drop waiver wire activity um, with a bunch of uh, periphery fire players that, that suck. Devin Harris is going to uh, Matt Bob. Good luck with that piece of shit player. Um, ben Gordon is injured, but the very evil Mike Jones is going to give him a shot along with Corey McGetty. Man, this is a shitty season. I hate fantasy basketball, and this is a report. Boom doesn't go to dynamite and all that other bullshit. So enjoy your week, and good luck, everybody. This is Edwin signing out. Bye-bye.